Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Ferrum Wrestling 411. We're here at the beginning of the school year, the 2015-16 school year. I want to introduce the folks that are with me. My name is Gary Holden, I'm the Assistant AD and Sports Information Director. To my right is Nate Yetz, our head men's wrestling coach. To his right is Chris Michael, our new women's wrestling coach. And to his right is Daniel Ownby. Daniel is our new assistant men's wrestling coach. So, um, Coach, let's talk a little bit about uh, you know the, how things have gone over for the summer and everything, recruiting wise and everything. Right, right. A busy summer, real busy with, with camps and uh, recruiting. We brought in two, uh, two or three new kids um, as far as um, late in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, to add to already a, a nice recruiting class, and, and I think you know I think they're going to help us out immediately. And, um, as camps, far as camps went well, went very well. I think we had about 35, 40 more kids than we did the year before. So we're going to continue to grow those, and uh, going to add a uh, new one next year as well onto that. Um, but a lot, a lot of great camps. Uh, just a real busy summer, you know. And, and obviously, you know, kick starting in the spring when kick started the women's program. And um, you know, Coach uh, Brandon Bradley got hired at the Nebraska Wesleyan, so we uh, went out and got a Coach Ombi right here from uh, Pembroke. And, and, Nebraska uh, Wesleyan starting a brand new program, right? Yep, right? yep, yep. And, and obviously, Brandon saw firsthand, you know, kind of what it takes. Sure, and sure. Uh, so he'll probably be on, on a faster trajectory than, than we were, I guess. But. Uh, you know, he won't make the same mistakes we made here. So, <laughs> and he has a year to recruit, kind of like right. he did that yep. first year. He'll recruit for a year, get his assistant coach, and then start. Yep, yep absolutely. So, right. so he's, he's really excited. I talked to him the other day. It sounds like he's real excited. Things are going well. So, great. Uh, Chris, tell me a little bit about uh, how you came to Farrow, A little bit about yourself. All right. Well, I was uh, I was on the in the Navy for uh, ten years on active duty. I was a CB diver. My job was underwater construction and demolition. Wrestled armed forces a couple times um, under Coach Rob Herman. I uh, went up to the United States Olympic Education Center, trained Greco full-time for a couple years under Coach Herman, uh, Coach Aggie C. Manukian, and Coach Willie Madison. Uh, came back to Norfolk and started the women's program with uh, Virginia Amateur Wrestling Association. Uh, Sarah Fulp Allen, Timothy Greenleaf, and a few other people have been helping out throughout the last couple years. It's our third year for uh, the women's program in the state, and it's kind of what I've been doing, uh, just training and helping grow the international styles of freestyle and greco roman within the state. Your connections with VAWA for women have got to be instrumental in trying to recruit women here, right? Absolutely. We've got about, I think, about eight girls ranked uh, full and folk style and uh, freestyle on the national scene right now, and uh, they're just looking to get better every year right now. Great, great. Well, we're excited to see what's going to happen with the women's program here. Uh, Daniel, tell us a little bit about how you came to Ferrum. Well, um, I started my college career out at UNC Greensboro, and uh, after a year there, they dropped the program, so that's when I transferred to Pembroke. And at Pembroke, I was a four-time All-American. I got third, eighth, first, first. And, um, so two-time national champion. Yes, sir. Division two program. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. Right. And so after I graduated, my plans were to coach at Pembroke. And um, so during the uh, whole summer, I was, uh, planned on that. And it was about two weeks before the summer ended, Coach Yetzer called me because um, uh, Brandon Bradley obviously got the new head coaching job and offered me the assistant coaching job here. I knew Farron was a fairly new program, and they're up and coming. So. I thought it was an exciting opportunity to uh, come here and help the program uh, grow even more. What weight class did you wrestle when you were at, uh, at, at Pembroke? I was 141 all four years. All four years. So that's got to be exciting for your lightweights to, right. to be yep. able to have someone that can work with them on a regular basis and everything. Right. Yeah, so. absolutely, absolutely. Just to just have somebody you know with his, his caliber, his knowledge, and uh, you know what it takes to be you know, a four-time All-American, obviously. Sure. That's what our guys are shooting for, national titles and right. being All-American. And I guess he can, he, you know, he can really – you know, let them know what it takes to get there. You know, and hold them accountable. I mean, that's uh, and you know, I think we have this very similar standards that we want our guys to, to live by. And, and uh, so I think, um, from that standpoint, that's, that's what drew, drew me to, to, to Daniel first, even before the accomplishments. You know, because that's a competitor. Coaching is a totally different world. So um, I think uh, I think he's got a really bright future in the coaching, uh, in coaching as well. It must be neat to have someone come in that's actually made it to the national champ. Never mind been an All American three years, but made it to the national championship. Because as, as we know, getting in, you've got to be in the top three in the region. So right. it's got to be a certain mindset you've got to go into that regions with the regional mm -hmm. tournament with and everything. Yeah, it's um. I mean, honestly, you can't really. I I'm gonna uh, give to the guys the knowledge of you can't look at it as regionals. You gotta look at it as another another Friday Saturday. If you start looking at it as regionals, I got called for the nationals, it's going to get to your head. So pretty much the biggest thing that they're, uh, I'm going to work on them with is just looking at it as another tournament. Mental. Mental. Yeah, bigger, bigger things. And, and I think we, we prepare them. Our, our schedule, we're going to prepare those guys for that um, this year more than any. You know, sure. You know, with, with uh, you know, uh, Kim Blair, you know, our, our vice president here, and, and uh, our athletic director, Abe Naff, I think they've really, really uh, supported us as far as 
allowed us to travel, you know, sure. and, and uh, go see the best competition in the country. I mean, heck, we go all over the place. We see, I think we see a team from every regional. You know, there's over 100 programs in Division Three, most three. You're making your trip down to ten, uh, Nashville again this yep, year, the yep. Gator Boots Duels. You're going back to the new standard invitational. New standard York, York College, yep, great tournament yep, last year. Yep, Pete Wilson. And then, and then you go back out to the Pete yep, Wilson yep, Invitational, yep. which is a very rugged tournament. A great in individual watch. tournament, yeah, absolutely. And, and sure. there's other one, uh, the and York tournament, you know, um, that, that was a great test. I, in fact, to be honest, I wasn't, we weren't even ready for that last year. You know sure. what I mean? And I think uh, out of the 15 teams there, I think 12 were in the top 25 in the country. Wow. So, and, and there's three top 10 teams there. Tough tournament. So yeah, we got our eyes opened up a little bit. So, yeah. Um, yeah. But it, it was good. It prepared us for the rest of the season. You know, Pete Wilson went there, and at one point we were, I think we were fourth in the tournament after the first day or something. Wow. You know, yeah. and out of 40 teams. So. Sure. Yeah, the kid make the finals. Robert right. Yeah. Yep. Coming three, back as a junior yep. this year. Three placers and two other guys that lost the round of play. So we were. Sure. We had a good tournament, but you know, it prepared us for the regional tournament, which you know we finished pretty well. So. Let's talk a little bit about the regional tournament. Last year, you hosted it up at the Bergland Center up in Roanoke. Right. This year, it's being hosted up in Lexington at Washington Lee. Washington Lee University. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's right in our backyard. It's just I, I like going around there. They go up to Scranton. They're sure. You know, NYU, God forbid. You know, we'll yeah. go up there one year. And, um, <laughs> Hard to believe we're in the same regional. Yeah. With exactly. NY, yeah. NYU. Exactly. You know, we have the biggest regional in the country, and last year's probably the toughest. Yeah. Um, I think. You know, just based on the 19 teams there, I yeah. think, you know, top three, one-day tournament. And this year, it's a two-day tournament, though. And you've got a couple that have moved out of the regionals. Right, uh, yep. Wilkes. Well, Wilkes is out, thank God. They're really good. Yeah. Uh, so, and Scranton, Scranton. Um, and they moved out. And then, and then you've uh, picked up a couple from this region now. Yep, Sydney and, and the Greensboro. Okay, great. you got to be excited about the, the growth of men's wrestling in the area. It just seems like after Ferrum started it, then all of a sudden Huntington down in Alabama started it. We've got Greensboro, we've got Hampton, Sydney, Southern Virginia as yep. a division. The women's, I mean, women's is growing. The women's I mean, program is like, starting to come. You know, it, it's great to see that, you know. And obviously you want to see it at the Division One level and Division Two level because that's the you know, offer scholarships. So you, you, you want to see it grow. That's a true sign of growth. But, you know, Fresno State starting a program next right. year. And restarted it, right? Restarted, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Restarted, yeah. And then, um, you know, so it, it, it's awesome. So. Well, um, Chris, you've got to be excited about um, being able to offer women – that are coming out of high schools, the ability to continue their careers at the college, the college level. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that Ferrum is a great place uh, to be with, with all the growth of wrestling, and uh, it's a great place to be academically, too. And, and for the women's program, I'm looking for any girl that just wants to wrestle and make that transition from folk style to freestyle uh, and get a great education and be part of our wrestling family. Obviously, we've got three different teams here. I think we're probably one of the only colleges in the country that offers all three teams, which sure. is amazing. Yep. And wrestling is a sport where anybody can do it. Anybody, you know, we've got a girl that walked on already, which yep. is amazing. She, she's never wrestled before or competed, and she walked on this year just because we're a new program, and she's she's sticking it out. She's a tough one. What type of numbers do you have for this first year? First year right now, I'm at seven, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping my, my long-term goal is to get 100 girls out to wrestle. To be the largest women's program in the entire country, it's a lofty goal. But I also want to graduate the most and have the highest GPA. Sure. Um, wrestling is a sport anybody can do it. Anybody. And we've seen it at all different levels. And I think that's why it's one of the greatest sports uh, in the world. Of the seven uh, women that you have this year, will you be able to fill seven weight classes? There are ten weight classes, like in men's. And I know they wrestle freestyle, like the Olympics. But will you be able to fill seven weight classes? Yeah, so we, we've got seven, one at each different weight, uh, which is good, and we've got maybe two or three that might be able to make a good run at becoming All-American, uh, potentially all, all four years, and hopefully some national champions in years to come. What is the national championship sponsoring event for women's wrestling in college? It's uh, the Women's College Wrestling Association, so they sponsor it. It'll be in uh, Oklahoma City this year at Oklahoma City University, and it'll be February uh, 15th through the 16th. Just a couple hours down the road. Yeah, just a couple 16-hour drives, no big deal. <laughs> well, we're, we're so excited about having the program here and excited about having you come on board as well. Thank you very much. Daniel, um, you've seen some of the guys on the team so far. Mm -hmm. You've already had an opportunity to peek your head in the wrestling room and see what they've got. What, what are your thoughts about um, where our guys are right now? I think we have a lot of high potential this year. I think that if the uh, guys stay focused and uh, do what they need to do this year, I think we have... Uh, a, like I said, a big handful that are going to make it to nationals, and if they continue to stay focused, I think we can come home with a couple of Americans this year. Coach, a couple of years ago, you had your first um, uh, national qualifier and won a match at the nationals and everything. We, we just missed on having one go last year. Do you feel as though you're getting to the point now where you're about to bust through and send a couple guys in? Yeah, I mean, that, that's the goal. I, mean, I, I do think, uh, based on the spring and summer some of these guys had, um, in the fall they're having, you know, I, I do think um, 
know, the goal is not just to put, get one or two through. I mean, I, we want to bust down that door. And I, I do think we're capable of getting three or four guys through, you know, and, and uh, you know, and then obviously getting our first All American, hopefully two All Americans. And now that we got juniors, you know, what I mean, and we got a couple seniors, I think uh, that that's really, you know, now they got the experience, you know, and they know what it's all about now. And I think, um, you know, obviously last year we had a lot of guys knocking on the door. I think. Sure. Had, I think we have four, three placers, and then three other guys that lost in the round sure. to place. Yep. All wrestling at the same time it was a hard, it was a hard round for us, <laughs> you know. But uh, you know, so I, I think we're right there, and um, you know, that, that that was with only five of our original ten starters. Sure. You know, and that now and get everybody back, you know, besides one, and then on top of that, we got uh, you know we got a ton of great freshmen coming in, and uh, so I, I couldn't be more excited about you know where we're going as a program. And this is what I envisioned, you know, as go coming in the seven year plan. Sure. This, we're, we're right on target. So, sure. well, it's, I remember last year at the regionals watching you try to coach guys on all the mats. Yeah. You'd finish coaching one, and you turn your back, and you'd be on. The remember that round? Sometimes though? it was there was you'd be actually coaching all around the place. In the they, corners, they were everywhere. Yeah, yeah, that was a tough round for us. Yeah. Yeah. That so. was an exciting, exciting tournament for us. Yeah. And I hope that we have an opportunity in the future to host that regional again, right, right, yeah. maybe even further. I know yeah. that there, was, there was talk about uh, the national championships coming out to the East Coast, and I think 2019 yep. is the next opportunity for it. Yep. Um, Hope that we have an opportunity to at least look at that. Yeah, absolutely. Road. Yeah, Roanoke's a great place for it. You know, yep. and anybody that went to that regional hopefully saw that. You know, it's plenty of stuff to do. Walking distance downtown, awesome uh, hotels and restaurants. Sure, yeah. and, uh, it'd be a perfect place for three nationals. Plus, it'd be probably be a little bit warmer than Cedar Rapids yeah, in yeah. March. You know, so. So is that where we're going this year for the national championship, Cedar Rapids? Yep. Okay. It seems Rapids. to be out there quite often. Yeah, well, Iowa's got a great fan base. They have a ton of Division three schools out there, right, and right. Uh, if, anytime it's in Iowa, the place is sold out. So we've got Iowa for the men's championship, but, uh, Oklahoma for the women's championship. So we're going to be fairly busy. Clubs in Texas. Yeah, Texas club is national in Texas. So that's yeah. our club national championship. Talk a little bit about the opportunities that we're giving some additional uh, men to compete at a championship level. Well, I guess we started the club program alongside the women's program just to give uh, the, the guys an opportunity, you know, to, to continue to compete and uh, to maybe get the attention they're not getting at the at the, uh, at the varsity level. You know, um, obviously, you know. There's only two or three coaches, you know, so we can't. Sure. We don't have all, all the time in the world for these guys. And so I guess that gives them an opportunity to continue to compete. And we'll have two sets of guys in there, one set that just wants to compete, but they don't want a full-time job. And then the other guys uh, that, you know, that need development. So. Sure. Well, it's great that they're going to have a season in the championship to Absolutely. look forward to as well. So. Yeah. Well, Daniel, I want to welcome you to Ferrum. I know they're going to do great things for us. Chris, we're real excited about seeing what you're going to bring to the women's program. I want to welcome you as well. Thank you. And, um, Coach, I guess we're going to try to do the show every other week in the off yep. season, and then once the, once the school once the wrestling season starts, we'll try to get the show every week. Absolutely, sounds good. Great, great. Well, folks, uh, we want to thank you for being with us on our first rest issue of uh, Fair and Wrestling Four One One. We'll see you again in two weeks. We'll be doing the shows on Thursdays. Thanks for being with us, and have a great day.